I want to explain to you the list view in Odoo. In Odoo, you most of the time have at least two or three views. One of the one is the so-called list view, where every record is listed one after the other, and mostly with a select checkbox on the left side. You also have another view called the form view, that goes into the detail of every single record, and you have other views like the graph view or Kanban views. But today, let's concentrate on the list view. The first thing you notice on the list view, here you have a few numbers. The first two numbers define which records are shown. In this case, we have 80 records that are shown out of 145. It means that whenever you look at these numbers, you know not, that not everything is present. If you want to see more than that, you click on this button and you're going to see the entries 81 to 145 out of 145. It means that on the two pages you have everything you want. But if you want to see a higher number of entries, it's quite simple. You click on this first button and the system is proposing you the number of records. In this case, we have 80, 200, 500, 2000 and unlimited. You see now the number here has changed from 1 to 145 out of 145. Let's move a little bit up. You see here something that looks like a search bar, and it is a search bar. Let me show you. Let's say you're looking for an account number that starts with 4000. You just need to type 4. Zero, zero, and the system is proposing you something to search either for an account that starts with 400 or for an account type that is 400. So let's search for an account. I press enter, and you see immediately all the accounts that are starting with 4000 are coming here. Okay, if I want to have this filtering out, I just click here and everything is going away. But what if you want to see, for instance, all the accounts that are of type view? In this case, you need to go a little bit more into the detail. You press on the arrow, advanced search, and the system is showing you more filter and more advanced functions for filtering and grouping. These filters are ready filters. It means that you just need to click on them and it works. You don't have to do anything more than that. Here, I have the advanced search. So, what I wanted to have is the internal type that was view. So here, I click on advanced search and I can find what fields I want to search for. In this case, it was internal type. And in this internal type, I want it to be a view. I just need to click on apply to have the filter working. If you want to add another condition, you need to go and recreate exactly a new condition. For instance, all the fields that allow reconciliation. I apply this condition. When do we have here advanced, internal type is view, and advanced, allow reconciliation is true. Okay, in this case, there's only one view with, um, with that allows reconciliation. What is quite strange. Okay, whatever. If you want to delete a filter, you just press on the X on the right of the filter and it's gone. The system is going to research everything again based on the filtering that you have here on the top. So let's take another situation. All the time when you want to there, you just don't want to be typing all this the advanced search all the time. In this case, what you can do is save the current filter. You just give it a name. Views. Okay. And you can save it. 
The effect of this is the following. The next time you press on, on the advanced search, you will see here the favorites. This is called view. So it's quite simple to go and to have the filter that you have created by yourself. Let's speak about another situation. You want to use to have exactly the same filter whenever you go without having even to define it every time and to go into the fabrics to have it. Let's say for instance, you want to see only the regular the regular accounts and you want to see them every time you start this. In this case, you will start the same as we did for the views. So you will open it and search for the internal type. Instead of view, you will see regular and you will apply the condition. You see on the top, you have advanced internal type is regular and only the regular accounts appear here. Now, I'm going to save this regular, but the other thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to say use by default. The effect should be that whenever I want to look at the accounts, the system should by default show me only the regular accounts. Let us try if it works. So, I go back to accounts. Clicking this way, it should take away all the selection that I have. And what you see here appearing immediately, I have the regulars. The way this works is valid all over Odoo. It allows you to create very, very fast selections that you can use everywhere. Let me do something else. I have all my regular accounts. In this case, I will not only take all my regular accounts, but I want to take all the accounts starting with 400. So I just need to type in 400 and search for account. As you see, my first selection is still available. So even if I would have an account of type view, starting with 400, it will not appear here. And here I have exactly all the information I wanted to. And then I can click on add to dashboard and click here to add this to the dashboard. What does this has as an impact? Let me show you. If I go to the reporting, I see here my dashboard. And here I have all the accounts that I search for. This very powerful tool allow you to create immediately some reports over a specific account. If you're responsible for a specific account, you come in the morning, you look at your dashboard and you see exactly how this account looked like. It's very powerful. There is another thing that I want to show you, the selection. When you select anything on the left side, you see that you have now new specific menus appearing on the screen. The first menu in this case is ledger, general ledger, trial balance. You can have attachment that you can add attachment or you have more tools. Uh, these look almost always the same, but what you will find on the print and on the more depends on the application you're in. If you want to select all the entries at once, you can just click on the very first line and it's gonna give a selection to everything. So I'm gonna go on the quotations to show you the last functionality that is really, really cool in Odoo. So, if you see, I have the quotations. Without have asking anything, the system is making me the sum of all the quotations I have in the system. So, if I select the first quotation, what you notice is that the system is showing me the sum for the selected quotation. In the moment, I just have selected the very first one. So this is the sum appearing is only for the first one. And I select the last one. And you see the sum has changed. You don't need to create a report to make some such of the sums. You just need to create a proper selection using the advanced search functionality that I showed you before. 
and using the select functionality. Well, that's it for today. If you want to have a look at Odoo, visit our webpage www.renosas.ybioservices.net okay.